We're now going to talk about how we figure out how many terms are in a sequence. And this gets a little bit tricky just because these aren't as straightforward as they could otherwise be. So we're going to start with the sequence. We've got one ninth, one third, one three, dot, 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 up to 243. And we want to know how many numbers are in here, how many terms are there. Well, we're going to start, since it wasn't given to us, by finding our r, which is a2 divided by a1, which is one-third divided by one-ninth, or one-third times nine over one, which is equal to three. So we found our r, and that works. When we multiply by three, we get to move up the chain. And we know that a1 is one-ninth. So we know that an equals one-ninth times three to the n minus one. Well, we also know that the an in particular we care about, this is our last term, is 243. So we can replace the an with 243 equals 1 ninth times 3 to the n minus 1. Well, let's multiply both sides by 9. That should be in blue. So I get out my calculator. Let's, and we do 243 times 9 is 2187. So 2187 equals 3 to the n minus 1. Well, 2187 is a power of 3. And so we can break this down. We already know it's 9 and 243, and this is 3 and 3. Well, 243 divided by 9 again is 27, which is 3 and 3, which is 9 and 3, which is 3 and 3. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what this turns into is 3 to the 7th equals 3 to the n minus 1. Since the bases are the same, we simply get 7 equals n minus 1. So n is 8. That means there are 8 terms here. And we could find that just as well if we wanted to. We could do 1 ninth, 1 third, 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, 243, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are, in fact, 8 terms here if we flesh it all the way out. But this is how we need to do it, and we're hoping that the majority of the time, and it will be the case on the exams that I give, that this number will be a power of this number once you get to this point.